What about it, buddy? It's your boy JR Reviews back with another video, guys. How are you doing? So, um, today I'm gonna tonight I'm gonna bring you the next part of my anime review. Like I said, I was gonna do three, but you know, shit's happening. Uh, life is. I'm tired. Fuck it. You know, we're running ragged. Five days worth a week. Clear that check though. Pretty good. Now I'm just gonna do this. Watch the anime and then probably hit the hat, hit the sack soon. Anyways. Um, today's anime, next anime I'm going to review today is called Chobits. Now, the thing about, thing about animes today, and compared to the animes of Chobits, Chobits was from 2002. Chobits is a very, very old anime, but still. I mean, I, I've had very few animes that get close to my heart anymore. Like, there are very few ones that get close to my heart, but Chobits, Chobits got close to my heart, like, real fast. It was, like, I think five, six episodes in, I was like, you know what, I love this series. I love, this, I love this anime, and I'll give you a somewhat rundown. So, main character is Hideki um, Matsuwa, and he's from the countryside, and he's it's like more of a futuristic um, Japan a little bit. Um, all he wants to do is go to college, but his grades are so bad that uh, he has to go to a prep school to go to college. Um, he goes moves to the city, he goes to this college, and all he wants now is a Persicom. What a Persicom is, it's basically an Android, but it's a computer. And it's a human, it's human looking, but it's a computer. It can talk, um, obviously it can talk, do all these things. Um, and, but he's so poor that he can only afford the apartment he's at. And he suddenly you get a job and everything. <sighs> And his next door neighbor has a person come, but it's like a miniature version, which is like a telephone. I love this. One. Her, and her name is um. Also, each person come that comes with a name, um. And the person come he she he has his name is um Shio, I think it is right. Shio, yeah. Um. Shiro or Shiro Shiro, Shiro is his name. Shiro's person come his name Sugumomo, which is a very fucking weird name, and I'll give you that right now. And it's um a, like a cell phone kind of like. Um, anyways, one night he's walking, um, home from a place that he, from a, walking home out of, from wherever he was out or something, I forgot what he was doing, and he, uh, wants, he was like, I wish I had a purse to come, you know, and he brushes up against and finds a, what he thinks is a dead body at first, but it's not, it's actually a purse to come who's been thrown away in the trash, um, and... She's immediately has he notices she has long flowing blue um blonde hair, very cute looking, but and she's naked, so obviously. So he ends up carrying her into his apartment and trying to figure out how to turn her on. And as soon as she turns her on, she immediately enthralls with is enthralled with him. And she and she can only can say the word chi, which later becomes her name, Chi. Um Hideki actually teaches her how to talk and all that and do all these things. And it's like she's kind of like a child, but also not a child because she's also a computer. And she's also very rare because supposedly she, um, she could be part of this thing called the Chobit series, which were first comes that were created with actual emotions. Like they can fall in love. They're, they're like, they have different abilities. Um, so like that. So... It goes also goes on to figure out there's a whole ass lore about it, like our about uh, the, about the you know Persicoms being basically taking over human companions and like people getting married to Persicoms and how that presents problems and all that, like how being like in a relationship with Persicom is different and it can actually affect a human person because their Persicoms are are computers and they're androids, but they're not human. They're not human. They're not like you can't put a dick in them and get a baby. It's it's not how it works. Um. Also, side tangent, please explain to me how Android 18 somehow gives birth to a, a dragon and to a kid in Dragon Ball Z. Please tell me that because she's supposed to be an android, meaning she can't give birth, but well, whatever. Anyways, um, she is, it's a whole backstory I just can't go into it because you have to watch the anime and it's 26 episodes so I actually like experience it. Anyways, he comes from the um, what was it? Hideki comes from the country, so he doesn't know shit about it. So Shiro t tells him about another kid named um, Minoru. Uh, 
Okabunji, who's like a 12 year old f kid who's like from a rich family who actually buys and makes his person, like, um, assembles his own Persicoms. And like, he has like 14 of them. Or like something like that. And, and she tries to, he tries to help him out with learning other things that she can do. And she's just hilarious. Like, she's cute, hilarious, and funny. One of my favorite episodes is he's trying to get her underpants. Um, because she has none. And he always is stuck outside the freaking underpants store. Because it's a girl's underpants store. He's a boy. And every time they think he's a pervert. Because he just stares there. But he's just so embarrassed and scared to go in there. That he's just, just staring at the store. Okay? Um... So one day he sends Chi to go get underpants, and Chi's walking through the street just saying, underpants, 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 underpants. And <laughs> is she just saying that the entire time while walking? And there are funny things that she sees a, a group of uh, ducks walk by, or cats walk by, or was it? And, a, and they're a baby, and they're like, a mama cat, and they're like three baby cats, kittens. And she's like, underpants. Like, no, it's not underpants. No, it's, it's those are cats, bitch. Or, those are cats, she. Sorry, not she, not bitch. Those are cats, she. Those are not underpants. Or my favorite scene is after she had spot an underpants, like a truck, delivery truck that has underpants on the side of it that's delivering to a store. Also, Sugumomo's on her shoulder, like, giving her directions, like, and she's in GPS mode. Um... She is telling her, like, yo, you can't go there. You can't buy his underpants from there. And then just at that moment, there are two girls walking um, from... Like, there's two school girls walking. And they're like, um, man, it sure is um, windy today. And then blows up, a wind blows up their skirts. And, you, and she sees her underpants. And he says, underpants. And the two girls says, that's right. And he, she kneels right down in front of the under, the, um, the girls. Looks up her skirt and says, underpants, thank you, please. <laughs> And tries to take him off the girl. <laughs> but again, she's like, doesn't know any better because she's like, like I don't know, the, like a robot. And she has like the brain of like a third grader at this time. And anyway, throughout the series, she starts to learn more and more, um, uh, you know, social cues and like stuff like that. One of my favorite scenes actually is when, um, <clears throat> when, their t his teacher, who is a whole arc that I'm just not going to get into it. Um, Hidaki's teacher comes over to their house. Uh, if you want to watch her arc, just watch the, the show, okay? I, I can't get into her arc. It's too fucking long, okay? It's a hard-ass arc to, to talk about, too. Um, there's, for some, for, just say, a bunch of reasons lead up to her having to stay at his apartment for the night. And he's seen without his pants on and everything and he tries to hide it and she says um bro she says oh too late i've already seen it it's average and she's like average and starts crying a little bit <laughs> and the best scene the the best scene is is that she is just now shouting average the entire time average average she stops saying that um or the other scenes where, like, she gets a job and she gets makes money and she wants to repay Hideki for all the things. And, he, and she's like, what is Hideki like? He likes his porno magazines. <laughs> so she goes into a thing and buys a porno magazine that he hasn't had before. Like, three of them. And gives it to him as a gift. Says, there you go. Here's a gift. And, and, he, and the look at his face when he opens it is hilarious. Priceless. Um... The other thing I find that she is... Okay, I'm going to say it now. She is the ultimate girl in all of anime. Fuck, fuck every other girl. You cannot get as cute as this girl. It's just not fucking possible. I'm sorry. I mean, you ever been a kid and you had a sibling and they used to mimic you? Like, mimic, mimic you? Like, they would do whatever you did, but it was only because they wanted to annoy the crap out of you? No. She does this to Hideki. Every single time. It doesn't matter what he's doing. Studying. My favorite moment is when he's studying and he freaks out because he can't study. And um, he just freaks out. He starts rolling around the room. And she's rolling around with him. And he's like, oh no, focus. She's like, focus. Chi. And then, or like he like, starts laying on his shoulder. She's laying on his shoulder like this. Or he does, 
like, on the desk like this, and she does that. <laughs> I'm like, I shit you not, it is the cutest thing you'll ever see. Also, the way she says chi, you will, uh, your heart will die. It just, it will shrivel, it will blow up because it's just that cute. I'm sorry. If, if you, you will see her and then you'll be like, well, maybe she, she is pretty and cute. But like, once you watch it, you'll be like, no, no, she's like 10 times more than that. Um, anyways, throughout the entire anime, it, there's a, um, thing that's saying that she is supposed to be a person com or a, a chobit. And the Hideki might be her promised person that she will fall in love with. Um, I can't go any further than that. I'm sorry. It just you, it's one of those animes where I, you have to watch it, and it was only one season. It was, but it was like one of those. It was like a kick-ass fucking season. It's not etch, it's not um, actiony as much as there's not a lot of fighting. Um, it's etchy. It's comedy. It's slice of life. It's a little bit of school in there. Um, it's just an overall good thing. And it's a romance and it's some drama in it too. There's some drama in it. I'm gonna tell you, there's some sidelines that will, there's some side stories that will get you into like, you crying like, like, a, like a bitch. It will get you to cry like a bitch, but it's, uh, it's worth it. Um, definitely go watch it. Um, you can watch it on, um, on, uh, fuck, on Go Go Anime for English dub. I think you can watch it on YouTube actually for fuck's sake and English dub too. Um, Definitely go watch it. I'll see you guys in the next video sometime, either tomorrow or Wednesday. And I'll see, and y'all have a good day. Peace. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 200 subs. Peace, guys.